Hello folks and welcome to a Wise Game video. In today's video we're going to be having some tech talk, that's right. Now, in today's video we're going to be covering a great program called Audacity. Now what I'm actually going to be covering in today's video with Audacity is how to record any music, any soundtracks that you're listening to on your computer system and I'm using Windows 10. So I went about a year or so without using Audacity and when I got my new computer system I wanted to reinstall the program again. So when I went and got Audacity I noticed that it took on a new face look or I should say a new facelift. So the settings are different now and it looks cleaner. It looks different than the old Audacity that I used to use. But I did tend to forget how to use some of the functions. So I went and did some research, and most of the research that I was able to find only covered how to record with your microphone. But I needed to find out how to record audio, or basically anything that I'm listening to at that time on my computer system. I ended up figuring it out, and that's what I want to share with you guys today. So I am going to provide a link in the description panel of today's video of where to go and get Audacity. Just install it and you're good to go. Now, when we open it up, this is what it looks like. So we have the basic buttons on the top left that we see in any recorded device. So it's got the record button, advances, it's got stop, playback, and pause. Then just below that, we're going to have these four drop down option boxes. This is where we set it up. So the first one is usually defaulted on this setting right here called MME. And then next to that one, we have our microphone set up. So whenever it's set in MME, this is set up now just to use microphones. So if we drop down the box, we're going to see that that's the only options that we see. And then next to that, we have either stereo or mono. For this purpose, I usually use stereo. And then the last one is our speaker setup. So whatever speakers you're using that's connected to your computer system is what you want to pick for this. And an easy way to be able to tell that is to go down to your toolbar or your taskbar and to the far right you're going to see next to the clock and the date, you're going to see an icon for your speakers. You're just going to click on that icon and the name's going to appear right there on Windows 10. So for me it's speakers. Real Tech High Definition Audio. We're going to go back to the last drop down box and we're going to see all these different options in here and I want to pick the speakers that I'm using which is the Real Tech High Definition Audio. But now how do we get it to record audio that we're listening to, music, so on and so forth on our computer system? You're going to go to where it says MME in this drop down box and you're going to want to put it now on Windows WAS API. Now we're going to notice that the options have changed now in the other drop down boxes. The next drop down box now the list got bigger and now we have our speakers in here. So what I want to use for this right here is speakers real tech high definition audio I think the rest of it says loop back. So again, we're going to put it on that. And then I'm going to go back to the next one and I'm going to put it on stereo. And then the speakers are already set up, so we're just going to leave that as is. And now we set it up where Audacity now is going to record whatever we're hearing through our speaker systems, not our microphone. Now we need to record a music source or a soundtrack and see if it's all working. So what I'm going to do here is simply open up this YouTube page and I usually use copyright free music when it comes to my videos. This way I'm not breaking any, any rules and my videos continue to be monetized. We're going to now go back to Audacity, open that up. We're going to now hit the record button. And if you notice, what's cool is that it's not going to start recording until you actually stop playing the source. We're going to notice now that Audacity is starting to record it. 
and we're going to see sound waves appear. If you see the sound waves appear, you know that you're in good shape. So now let's just hit the play on YouTube. Then when you're done recording, you just simply hit the stop button right up here. Now we're going to play it back and see what it sounds like. And we could definitely hear that the track came out perfect. So next we need to save it. So to do that, you're going to go to the very top left here where it says file. You're going to click on that and you're going to go to export and you're going to use export to MP3. Now in here, this screen is going to pop up. Now, wherever you want to save it, if you click on save in, it's going to have all the options of all your folders that you could save it to. Once you pick where you want the file to be saved to, you're going to go to file name now and put in the name of the song, the soundtrack, whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to use test for the sake of today's video. And we're just going to hit now next to it, save. Then this box is going to show up. Now, I don't use this most of the time. But this is good for like if you want to make labels for a CD or something like that. You could put in more information to do with the soundtrack that you just recorded. So right now, I'm just going to hit OK. Then that little box is going to appear that we just seen for a split second, depending on the length of your track. And that's what's now saving your track. Now we just open up the folder where our music tracks are now saved. And I'm gonna click on test two. And there we have it. So to clear this, now I just hit file and I go to close. And it's up to you if you want to save the project or not. I usually don't, so I'm just going to hit no. And then it's just going to clear out Audacity. Then we could just go up to the X here, close it, and that's it. So I hope that this video helped you guys today. And feel free to sub up for more future videos. Thanks again for watching Wise Gamer. Comment down below because we love to hear from you. Until then, you guys have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.